Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 1. All that's left is the distant spring. Let's wrap this area up. Stay 15 halfway through Olimar's life support. Well ahead of schedule, of course. As per usual, if you like being ahead of schedule and you like episodes that are halfway through games, like the video, comment, subscribe. This is actually going to be a pretty interesting episode. Got a little trick up my sleeve for all of you. Hopefully you find what you're about to see pretty interesting. First things first, we're going to go ahead and harvest the blues that the game tried to tell me I had less of than I really thought I did. So first thing is we're going to grab all these blues. And the name of the game today is Bomb Rocks. And you might be thinking to yourself, D-Mike, what are those bomb rocks going to be used for? Is it the wall that's right over there in the upper right-hand corner of the screen? No, of course not. I'm actually going to get out all the blues that I have, which is not many, but I'm going to have all of them do a little task for me. So as you can see here, we have a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a watery area that we worked on previously. We built a bridge and it's now being chomped on by these dumb uh, shear grubs. So we're gonna kill them real quick. Hopefully, quickly, come on, today. That one's not dead, I don't think. Is it dead? Okay. Lost one in the process, but yeah, whatever these guys like to do is um, they like to try and, of course, steal your um, your architecture. So they were trying to do that, and we're not going to let them do that. Instead, we're going to, now that we have this bridge built, I'd actually like to have this Wally Wog out of the way, but that's not a possibility yet because I don't have very many Pikmin to do so. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and deposit the blues, and I'm going to very carefully do what I'm going to try to do. Because I need all kinds of firepower. So blues can go away. And I'm going to try to bring in the commandos here. This is my special ops, my yellows. Should only need five. I don't think that they give you bomb rocks and clusters larger than five. But this is going to be a, m a mission about precision. So we're going to come over here and I said, well, maybe there, maybe there'll be more. Is that a bomb rock under there? There you go. All right. All right. Actually, I would like you to have, I'd like to have all of them. Actually quite a few over here. I miscalculated. That's actually good. Being wrong is fine. So we'll have our bomb rock yellows. We'll bring back some more. That was my fault. Can't believe this. I'm never wrong. We actually got a few more blues out of that, so that's nice. So our bomb rock yellows can hang tight for a second. And we're going to not punch the air. We're going to grab... Let's just grab six for safety. We're going to grab more yellows. Just trust me on this one. These bomb rocks will be integral to our success for today's side mission. We'll call it that. It's a bit of a strange thing to do. But we're going to make it work. We're going to come over here. There's just two more. All right. That's fine. We're going to ignore the spotty bull bear. And we are going to... Oh, there's more in there. Wait, is there... I would take more if you have more. Okay. Yeah, so skulls, of course, are where you're going to find the majority outcropping of your bomb rocks. Remember that. Skulls, cans. Show me a cans. Anything uh, kind of dark. Like that. So ignore the stupid Wallywog. As we do, we're gonna deposit the remainder of the yellows over here with the ones that we currently have. And I'm gonna grab a few more. This is gonna probably seem like overkill, and if it is overkill, that's fine, because having too many is not a problem. Having not enough is going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and dance around the Puffy Blowhog, one of my arch nemeses, and we're gonna grab the rest of these bomb rocks. So I believe this is the last that you can get. I don't know how many you'll get here. I think normally this gives you four. It's probably where my mind went and why I was getting my initial crew going. All right, that looks like four to me. Here at DMIC Industries, we love being able to count with basic numbers. All right, so this is my <laughs> This is my bomb rock crew. Trust me, this will all make sense eventually. Um, 
Go ahead and put the rest of your bomb rock, non-bomb rock yellows back. You don't want any of those guys. And we're going to pluck all the blues that I have available. And they're going to take a seat for a moment. We don't need them. And this is taking a considerate amount of time, but that's just because I'm being careful. What I'm about to do is really annoying. You're only going to really need one blue pigment for this endeavor. So we've got my bomb rock squad there. That's my artillery. Of course, we'll put the blues away for now. We're going to grab out a handful of reds. Let's just say I'll want all of them eventually, but right now this is just a mission to kill this puppy blowhog because of how annoying it is. Anything that can get in your way, let's make sure that we dispatch it right, right away. Just trust me on this one. Um, what you're about to do after this, if you are following my lead, requires pretty much full dedication of your resources. And a puffy blowhog getting in the way is certainly not what you want. Come on, brother. Okay. So that's good. Now, in the stead of it being dead, <laughs> Let's go ahead and have our, um, I'm going to have my red Pikmin grab the chips, the pellets here, only the red pellets. Usually you get lucky and it will give you more than that, but I was not, of course, because why would I be? Um, story of my life. So these guys will carry this back. The blue Pikmin will be doing that eventually as well, but we'll have a pretty healthy outcropping of reds. And I, as you notice, I'm tucking my Pikmin kind of deep in where the onions are. That'll make sense in a moment. There you go, boys. Helping each other out. Teamwork makes the dreams work. No slack in a D-Mike Industries. And I'm going to grab one blue Pikmin. Just one. You'll see why in a moment. And I'm going to pluck the rest of the reds that I have available here now. At the marketplace. I'm going to grab all the reds, pluck all of those, go pluck yourself, and then we're going to, would be nice if they could, and then we're going to fill out the remainder of the squad with these red Pikmin. So this all is going to make sense here in a moment, and I really hope that my preparation is complete, because if it's not, I'm going to be very sad. So now we've got red Pikmin, we've got yellow Pikmin, and a blue Pikmin. Make sure your blue Pikmin is flowered. You'll want to move quickly for this. So this is something I teased multiple times. And I'm actually going to do it now. Stop it. Put my money where my mouth is. I only got half a day left, so I got to hurry up. No time to dally dilly. All right, so here we go. Here's the big old egg. I mentioned this before. Have your blue Pikmin come over here. Just bonk against it a few times until you start to see a sign of life then you'll know that you've done the right thing there you go all right so that my friends is exactly what i needed to have happen we're gonna run away you'll see what is within the egg in a moment and we're gonna scramble that bad boy all right so here we go heading back to the onions we're gonna put the blue back because i don't need it it's probably best that you just have reds and yellows if you can. And the yellows, of course, are just for the purpose of um, the bomb rocks. That's exactly what they're here for. So let's go ahead and grab our 14 bomb rock yellows and uh, get ready to do battle with this, my friends, is the Smoky Prog. This thing is a huge butthole. And I'm going to tell you what, speaking of buttholes, it has a nasty poo gas launcher out its at its rear section. If that poo gas touches you, in this case your Pikmin, at any point, you will die. So don't let that happen to your Pikmin. Um, this is why I am staying back and using long range munitions. Here, ooh, run. Throw that bomb rock. I don't know if that actually did any damage to it or not, but this is good. You can just keep throwing bomb rocks at it. As many as you have, your yellows will hopefully be programmed smartly enough to do that. That's debatable. Nope. All right. And so as I'm getting rid of my yellows, I'm going to start putting away the ones that don't have bomb rocks because I don't want them around. It's a distraction. Stop it. Okay, I guess that's another one. 
This will all make sense. I'm not gonna get a I'm not gonna get a shit part in this day probably just because of the the insanity of what I'm about to do or what I am doing with this smoky prog here. It should hopefully only go after you and your current squad, which is convenient. This way it won't attack my reds. The reds are essentially just kind of my infantry in the event that this goes south. The bomb rocks are definitely the main uh, form of firepower. And I'm trying to do this quickly because I think it does regain health over time. I don't want that. So hopefully this will work. Doing damage this way is preferred. Because I know that I'm going to lose a pretty significant amount of Pikmin in the process no matter what happens. The Reds are going to take a big old hit at the end of this one. So there you go. It already killed yellow. And then I got my final bomb rock yellow. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. I got it just below half health. This is one of those things where I'm probably just going to wind up... Nope. Wind up sacrificing too many. But, you know, it is what it is. Throw that. Okay, so we got it pretty well hampered. We're going to put our yellows away. And this is when I wind up losing a ton of my reds because sacrifices have to be made. You basically just want to get the um, smoky prog in a good spot where it will come out from the onions. And then uh, call off your Pikmin if you can. When you get it far, far, far enough away. When you get it far enough away, it'll come after Olimar. You want to just kind of spread it out. There we go. That should be good. When it does that... Uh, when it does that kind of growling attack, that's when you want to just kind of hammer it. Just keep going going for it as much as you can. And that should take it down. Didn't lose too many on that one, thankfully. So we'll go ahead and put the reds. I don't think... I only think I lost a couple on that one. So that was a pretty good pretty good fight. Put the reds back. And you're going to see something magical here in a moment. Nope. Nope. Not for you guys. That, my friends, is the golden ticket. We don't want our reds to take that. You'll see why. They're gonna try to go for it though, and I will not let them. It is not for you. Instead, viewers, prepare yourselves for insanity. This is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna do this hopefully before the day expires. So, as you saw, takes three, but watch this. For killing the Smoky Prog, which can only be done on day 15, which I feel like I handled that pretty methodically. You're about to see something crazy. So, had a pretty underwhelming amount of blues. Got a lot of them murdered in the past. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. So, that golden nugget, what that did is it produced 100 blue Pikmin. So, that's what you get for doing that. We've already gone way back and boosted our blue Pikmin amount dramatically, which is great. So let's go ahead and pluck all these blue Pikmin. I feel like they deserved it after all the nightmarish behavior I had in the past, and I felt bad for that. So this is me making it up to the old blues. I apologize, blue Pikmin. So now I just have to spend the rest of this day um, completely mashing my thumb into the A button on my controller because this game is cool and it doesn't auto-pluck. So there we go. I now actually have the largest amount of Pikmin being my blue Pikmin, which is very cool. Don't really need an abundance of any of the other kinds, except for the blues, because of the areas around the side that had some walls that would have been nice to tear down, which I might be able to do if I hurry. I doubt it. But I'm just going to have a hundred blue Pikmin with me. Yeah, it's not looking like it's going to happen. That's okay. But you got to see me fight the Smoky Prog pretty effectively. Pretty much the cleanest Smoky Prog fight in history. And I believe there's a red Pikmin somewhere else um, that might be elsewhere, I don't know. But go ahead and put the blues back. We now have the most blues of anything, which is actually really useful for this area, of course. And that's where we are. So we're going to be using the majority of the blues the next episode or the next day. I always say that wrong, but it all tracks. I think there actually is a red Pikmin hanging out back here. I think I got, yeah, we'll get that. No, 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 stop it. I don't deserve to get that in this episode. There we go. And here's the final one Pikmin that got stuck. 
That was very cool though, you better enjoy that. I did that for you. I fought that nasty mythical beast, which after today will be gone forever, so. Bye, bye Pikmin. Okay, cool. So now I can just go ahead and skip to sundown, saving you three full seconds. It's actually a speed strat. You're welcome for that. It was all worth it, trust me. I mean, it actually is worth it in like a very practical way. Getting all those blue Pikmin. I mean, I, I've seen other situations where people will just, it doesn't matter because they already have like 5 billion Pikmin. And so them losing some and then getting that 100 doesn't really mean much. But to me, that was strategic. I was willing to sacrifice my blues originally because I knew that was coming. And you're welcome. Because I'm amazing. All right, here we go. 15 days since impact. And this is your Smoky Prog entry. You won't get this unless you try it. The Smoky Prog. This hideous beast comes from a strange heartache. Its mollusk collect bodies wrapped in an unpleasant gasp that suffocates any Pikmin that inhales it. Attacking its head is successful, but it's best to eliminate it in its egg form. So, you can attack that egg, you can destroy the egg. However, if you do that, you don't get the reward of the golden nugget. So there you go. We went from basically no blues to all the blues, which is very exciting. And I think, if everything goes according to plan, I'm speaking with my hands right now, you can't see that, that I should be able to potentially get three parts on day 16. So let's see. It all depends upon if I'm going to be able to get those bomb rocks again. I don't know if they respawn every day. If they don't, then I'm going to forget that. And I'm just going to move on to my plan B. But the first thing that I'm going to want to do, which is the most important, of course, is get all these blues out. I need to start breaking down some walls. It's very good that I was able to get a hold of all of these blues. There's a lot of architecture that's in the way that's causing me a lot of problems. That's actually hiding, I think, two separate parts on the far side of the distant spring. And it looks like enemies are starting to respawn. So, of course, we have the... Uh... Oh, the bomb rocks are back. It's very good. So we have the baby bull orbs. Baby bull orbs. Let's kill these boys. This is not going well, great. So we'd like to just get the snitch bug. Okay, we lost a couple, that's fine. You got a hundred, you're allowed to lose a couple, and these guys can carry it back, I don't care, that's fine. Carry your prize back, boys, you earned it. Do that for yourselves. How many do I have left to, to do my manual labor? All right, so if you remember, this is the alleyway of Wallywog, which Aggressively murdered my Pikmin, so I'm gonna wait for them all to catch up because they're ding-dongs They normally don't do this. So here we go All my Pikmin here the blues that I've left are going to tear down that wall And then within that there is a part as you could see around the corner So now that I've made that happen what I'm going to do the blue Pikmin that are Carrying the Corpse is back, carry the corpse. Never get tired of saying that. These boys, don't really need them. So we're gonna go ahead and put them back. And in the process, to speed up everything I'm trying to do. Ooh, nope, you know what, I, I lied. I do, need, do, I do need those blues. So, as you can see, one of the annoyances that I briefly covered when I was over there getting the secondary bomb rocks from where the, the bull bear is, is that over time, when enemies respawn in the area that you are currently working on, the shear grubs will go ahead and destroy any sort of architecture you've built. So in this case, we've got some worm pools. In this case, um, they've destroyed part of the bridge. So we have to rebuild it, which shouldn't take long, hopefully. But I know that they're here. No? Okay, I thought they would be. So we'll have these boys build this bridge back. This should only take a moment, I hope. Okay, very cool. And because I'm feeling spicy... No, you know what? No time for vengeance. Worm pools are docile creatures, so we don't have to worry about them. But what I do want to do is get moving on that other ship part. Actually, I think... I'm trying to think if I have enough Pikmin to do this. I'll just keep the ones I have with me. Um, We'll bring the full squad. There's another ship part that's tucked in kind of awkwardly in one of these tree trunks. 
You can't really see it. Oh my gosh, stop it. Get high on your own time. It's working hours. All right, so we were able to successfully tear down this wall. And I actually want to, I get so distracted when I play this game. Um, let's bring all of our Pikmin in here. At least as many as we need to. And get another ship part, it's my Zirconium Rotor. This is made from rust pro proof Zirconium, which is particularly suited to making spaceship parts. I had to pay a lot extra to have this installed and I suspect the mechanic overcharged me. What else is new? <laughs> mechanic jokes. Okay. So that'll be 50 of my blues and they are going to carry the rotor back. We're gonna keep the other blues that I have with me. I don't think that this is a problem. I should be able to, are you kidding me? Get it up there, come on. Give him a little nudge. There you go, you big dummies. Why are you carrying it this way? That's not the best way to carry it. All right. I'm assuming it just had to bounce against that for the game to be like, oh yeah, this isn't where this is supposed to go. This game really frustrates me. Um, but there's another part right here. So we can grab this too. My pilot seat. Once I get this installed, my cockpit will finally be back in order soon. My ship will be starting to look more and more like the dolphin of old. Okay, great. So that's plenty of Pikmin to carry the pilot seat back. So that's two Pikmin part, no, two ship parts. I know I said Pikmin parts. On the way, very good. So, you know, I'm still kind of hitting my quota of what I would say is like, actually I need to whisk some blues off. I don't need all of you to do this. Can you guys figure this out? Yeah. Figure this out. Here this. I don't need all 50 of you. Just some of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. I just need some of you to come with me. How many is that? Okay, you're good. You can still carry it. Go. I need to exchange these for, for yellows. Now it's bomb rocking time. We're actually making a lot of progress in this episode. Kill a smoky prog and you're getting three ship parts viewers? Um. If I had a Patreon, I'd say donate some money to my baby man. Someday, viewers, someday you can give your cold hard cash to D-Mike Industries. Think about the potential. It'll be worth it, though. You're paying for quality. Quality engagement. All right. So now with our yellows, as you remember, we're going to sneak past the Wally Wog. Whoa. Don't. Don't. Stop. Okay. One part down. It interrupted our Pikmin dying, so that's very nice. The zirconium rotor made of rust-proof zirconium is as shiny as new. 24 out of 30 parts. Yeah, it says that, um, you know, the number obviously caps at 29. You don't need to get all 30, but I'm going to get all 30 because I care about you. Obviously, as if that was in question. All right, so let's go over here again. I don't know how many of these um, bomb rocks I'm going to need, but this is just, you know, a repeat of... Uh, Getting the bomb rocks from before. Just grab as many as I can. Because I don't know how many bomb rocks it takes to get these stupid walls blown down. And they're really annoying. So I'm just going to grab as many as I can. Let me check the old mappy map here. Uh, yeah, all the parts are kind of like nestled in that one specific area. Which we'll deal with eventually. But right now we can't. Because I don't want to. So how's that? How's that for logic, huh? All right, so let's get the Wally Wog out of the way. Stop, stop. I did not ask you to do that. I like that it plays kind of like this spooky, like, ooh, ooh, music, but we're doing great, actually. That is not me being facetious, a facetious fascist. I'm not that. All right, so with our yellows, let's go ahead and grab the bomb squad. Hello? And we are going to just very carefully blow this wall up. I think it takes six, and I might have already started to blow it up. If I don't have enough. This takes a lot. I will blow up the wall using the bomb rocks on the other side, of course. I think this should be plenty. And one more should do it. Yeah, it would have been super cool if I knew about this. Like, you know, having common sense and being able to figure out that there were bomb rocks on the other side of the water. 
beforehand. I actually really hate uh, while he walks. I might, I'm just going to kill this one with the bomb rock. This is more revenge for the blues, to be honest. Get him. Throw it. You big dummy. Yeah, come on over here, you big fat head. Throw it. Yeah, get him. One more. It's the exact amount you need. Toss it right in his b-hole. Ooh. Oh, how did you die? Did you get killed in the explosion? That's okay. We don't really need yellows. Yellows are not really the most effective of Pikmin that are needed to do this, but I do want to carry back the Hergadurga Burgadurga right here. And we just have the blues out, so I'm just going to do it. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop hurry! Please go. Stop eating my blues. I have the right amount. Stop! You're not fast enough, you big dummies. Oh, you are fast enough. Oh, let's just talk about the bowsprit. Yeah. We'll just do, uh, we'll just fend them off ourselves. How about that? Yeah, ow. That's okay. Yeah, it's it was a worthy sacrifice. It's fine. Me and these two blues will just uh, finish them off ourselves. Yeah, how's that feel, you big dumb, dumb, dummy, dumb, dumbs? Yeah, that's right. That's good English. But that's a third part. I haven't seen them carry the captain's seat. Are they stuck? Oh boy. Well, that's two parts at least. The one that I promised. I actually need to go check on that captain seat real quick. I think that they did get stuck. Which means that they might be trying to take it out the other way. So-called face of the dolphin. In point of fact, I designed it. Great. Okay, whatever. Um, so I'm going to hurry because I, I do want to finish this today. So I'm going to get as many blues as I can just to get this third part. And then that means that we'll only have three other parts. Three other parts left to acquire... And the remainder of our time in the distant spring. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. There you go, you big dummies. Hey, Mike, you're so mean to your digital creatures. All right. Oh, you big... Oh, you stupid idiots. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Those guys are going to attack it from that side. I didn't realize this is going to be a problem. And I'm going to use these Pikmin. All right, first got to kill these. Go heck yourselves. Yeah, get them. I hate these things so much. Get them. Oh, you're mine, boy. Yeah. It basically can be treated the same way as a bull borb if you hit them in the right way. All right. And then I want everybody else here to attack the wall from this side. That's two sets of Pikmin attacking a wall together. That's the one downside about these darker walls as they are, of course, quite a bit sturdier. But if everything goes according to plan, then we're able to have 99 Pikmin relatively close to that number, of course, because these guys are not doing their work. They're trying to carry the thing that they can't. You fools. Heckin' fools. I think we'll be able to get it down and then carry it back in time. That's all teamwork, viewers. This is what this is all about. Come on. Just blap that wall. Mmm. Then eventually, there's not really anything left to do in this area. Um, I don't think there's a... Okay, good, we did. All right. That's enough dilly-dallying for me. Go! As many Pikmin as possible. Go! Speed running! Yeah, I think that this should be plenty of time. I, I'm overselling it a little bit. There's not really any... Uh... No. No, 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 no. I, I, want, I want full speed here. I'm willing to allocate all resources for power. So they should be able to carry it back to the onion. 45 and 53 is 98, so we are missing one Pikmin. I don't know where it is. It might be a slacker. And what do we do with slackers, viewers? Nothing. We chastise them on the internet. Public shaming is the way to go. All right, so we can put back the blues. They're not going to be able to carry... Well, no. They're not going to really be able to do anything. I will grab my reds, though, once some of the blues have entered their respective onion. Because there's those baby bull borbs, and I might as well take advantage of their lifeless corpses. Very cool. So yeah, let's just grab a handful of blues. Why not? 
Nope, these are reds. Clearly, the longer the day goes, the worse my color sensitivity is. And we're gonna come back here eventually and we're gonna wipe out all these bull bears and bull borbs. And uh, there it is, Captain Seat, or Pilot Seat, whatever it's called. There's another part way off in the distance. We tried to get it before, unsuccessfully. The Pilot Seat, picturing this in the cockpit. Pick, oh, images of me lifting off into space begin to fill my tax brain. Speaking of tax brain, I have that as well. All right, so clearly these guys are dumb and they're not gonna help their comrade. Carry the red, here we go. I don't think there's really anything else necessary for me to do. I don't know. I need to wipe these boys out in order to get this part. I'm gonna try again eventually. But if you remember, this is the one where I had to come up here, dance along this whole shenanigan and then throw the the yellows up onto that ding dong so we'll come back for that probably wind up killing the bull bears in the process because i hate them let's go for a ride Whee! and yeah that's pretty much it i mean like we're very close to being done with that that's one of the parts and then there's stuff a little bit further back in the um there's stuff a little bit further back in the distance spring that i haven't touched there's that, that's the light bulb thing. And then there's the two back there, which within two additional days, end game days, one more episode, we should be done with that. Which means that this Let's Play is pretty close to wrapping up. I'm thinking that I'll probably wind up going back to Eastward at some point. But this is a bit of a detour, which I hope you've all enjoyed. I'm saying it like this Let's Play is over, it's not. It is certainly still in, uh, and work, you know. There's also a, maybe a final area, I don't know. There is. But that was great work. Everybody, thanks for your help. You've done a wonderful job today. Thank you for pitching in at D-Mike Industries. Still missing two Pikmin somewhere. Really the blues that got stuck. There's one. He got lost along the way. I was helping people and now I'm here by myself. I didn't even need those final bomb rocks. It's how amazing I am. And yeah, I don't know. I have no idea where that other one is. And I don't care. Going to sunset. That was one heckin' good episode, viewers. Woo! 16 days since impact. If I can find just four more parts, the dolphin will be fully rebuilt. The time has grown. No, it hasn't. Shut up. Surely some of those parts aren't absolutely necessary. I can almost see my smiling family. Yeah, it's basically the game saying that you don't, once again, 100% need everything. But I'm going to do it, because I'm amazing and you're amazing. Wow, I've lost a ton of Pikmin. I only left behind one today. I lost nine in battle. Pretty good. I don't remember how many I lost against the Smoky Prog. I didn't look at the final screen. But that is two excellent days of hard work. And... In the next episode, we will be going and grabbing those final three parts from the distant spring. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 1, and I'll see you next time. Bye!